News 11 crews got a sneak peek into the daily routine of first and second graders. Erica Sutch joins us live in the studio with more. Erica. Shannon, today I had the chance to step inside the world of first and second graders and see how they learn. The introduction of 10 iPads in classrooms encourages students to work together and learn in the process. But these iPads are part of a much bigger technology initiative. Take a peek inside this second grade classroom at Adamstown Elementary, and it's no bookwork for these math students. You walk in and you see all that, that excitement and the buzz, and, and they're just so engaged. iPads have become a part of the learning process in K through second grade at the Cocalico Elementary Schools. Each classroom has about 10 iPads for students to share, making teamwork a vital part of each lesson. I think we've certainly seen the, you know, the conversation that goes with it, the, the sharing, the thinking, the reinforcement from their peers does seem to help. So it has worked for us thus far and we're, we're happy with the results that we see. So why start adding technology in the lower levels first? There were so many apps that were so appropriate for kindergarten, first and second grade to reinforce their skills and just because of the way they mani manipulate things on the screen with their fingers and all of that touch ability, it just seemed to be more appropriate for the primary grades. At age 11, he was... While technology plays a new and important part of these students' daily routine, Dr. Musser says it only adds to the traditional learning process students are used to. If they're just wanting to work out a math problem or something like that, you know, it's still easy to just grab a piece of scratch paper and work it out or if they want to be taking notes about something they're reading you know it's, there's nothing wrong with paper and pencil but certainly when you look at the level of engagement with some of the the creativity that can go into what they're doing I, I think that helps a lot. These iPads are just the beginning. The district plans on having mobile labs for the rest of the elementary students next year and giving every fifth through eighth grade student their own laptop. And by 2016, they hope to have laptops for every high schooler as well. Live in the studio, Erica Such, News 11.